Before you choose a university, check it has everything a university should have. Was it founded in a year of incomparable progress, when humanity went to space and hatchbacks hit the streets? Is it simultaneously nine minutes from the buzziness of Brighton and zero minutes from the serenity of the South Downs? Does it have the world's most photogenic concrete sign? Does its future technologies lab program robots to feel the rhythm? Do its students have an always wonderful belief in standing up for what's right? Unlike this 60-year-old bear, does its 60-year-old architecture remain as beautiful as it did on day one? Does it have its very own art center named after Lord Richard Attenborough, brother of David, star of Jurassic and former Chancellor of Sussex? Is it in a national park where you can frolic with a real life cast of The Wind in the Willows? Does its student union have an ever-growing list of societies, including this K-pop one? Stay back! Has its staff included three Nobel Prize winners, a stoolball champion, and the world's best dad, apparently? And do its students, staff, and lecturers do everything in their power to change things? If a university has all these things, then wow. Just wow. Hello, and a very warm welcome uh, to the School of Global Studies here at the University of Sussex. Uh, the school incorporates the departments of anthropology, geography, international development and international relations. Um, thanks for taking the effort in these uh, strange times to check out what we have to offer here at Sussex. We, we really appreciate it. Um, my name is Dr. Mick Frogley and I've been a lecturer here for almost 20 years. And I'm also the director of recruitment and admissions in the school, which means that I have an overview of all of our recruitment activities at both uh, postgraduate and undergraduate level. Now, in this short video, what I want to do is to briefly explain the significance of the school and why that might be important to you as a prospective student. Undoubtedly, part of what you're doing here today is looking at what will make your time at Sussex different to that uh, that you might experience elsewhere. And that's a question I get asked a lot, and it's an absolutely fair question. Uh, now, part of that can be answered by looking at the ethos of Sussex towards uh, interdisciplinarity, which goes right back to the beginning of our history. Uh, when Sussex was founded over 50 years ago in the early 60s, um, it had no formal departments, and the idea behind that was to break down the artificial barriers uh, which were perceived to, to exist between disciplines. Uh, as you can see from these photos, pretty much everyone back then was in black and white, of course, and uh, this being the 60s, probably stood around from time to time and, and, and had a group hug. Now, although the structure of the university has changed quite a bit in the last 50 years or more, uh, we're now a very modern university, we, we, we've had departments for, for, for quite a while now, uh, and given social distancing requirements, I'd, I'd not be keen for too many group hugs with my colleagues, um, our ethos around interdisciplinarity has absolutely not changed, remains unchanged. Uh, and it's something that runs through what we do at Sussex, and especially in the School of Global Studies. Let me show you what I mean. Um, none of us, we're all intelligent people. None of us really believe in league tables. They're flawed, they can be biased, uh, until, of course, they publish something uh, that makes us look good. And then, of course, we'll plaster it all over our advertising and marketing materials. But this here is something that we can truly be proud of. All of the departments in the school are in the top 100 in the world again this year, according to the latest QS World Rankings, uh, which were published back in March of this year. No other school in the university can claim that. And, and rather pleasingly, um, international development is number one again for the fifth time in the last six years, uh, which ranks us above places such as Oxford and Harvard. Now, the important thing here, the important thing for you, why this matters, is that it speaks to the quality of all of the departments and our staff here uh, from both a teaching and research perspective. Faculty are at the forefront of their subjects. They're the people writing the papers and the books and the policy briefs that influence the field globally. Almost every member of our faculty is both teaching and research active. So there are no research divas hidden away who you'll never get to see. So what does the school investigate? What do we stand for? Well, our research investigates uh, and addresses some of the most pressing global issues of our time. Um, climate and environmental change, uh, global health issues, global inequalities and human rights, sustainability, conflict and peace processes, intolerance and discrimination. I won't call it a mission statement because that's all a bit corporate, but I suppose if you're looking for our values, then what we're trying to do here is to generate knowledge and understanding that can make a difference for, for a fairer, safer, um, more sustainable and inclusive world. And these themes are cross-cutting uh, and both their study and their solutions demand an interdisciplinary approach. 
So it's big stuff, and we'd like our students to be very much a part of that, and we'd like you to be part of that if you come to study at Sussex. Our reputation, of course, means that anyone who is anyone in these fields will at some point come through Sussex to visit. Um, we'll invite them to give seminars, talks, workshops, and perhaps they'll work with us for longer periods, uh, maybe a term, maybe a year. And all of our students, undergraduates certainly, but especially our postgraduate community, are encouraged to access that depth and breadth of academic environment uh, that that kind of collaboration and expertise will bring. So it's this combination of quality, engaged research, top flight staff and interdisciplinary ethos and, and along with the relatively small or medium sized cohorts means that there are real opportunities for the student experience. None of our departments are especially large and our annual intake of master's students across the whole school is generally around 350 to 400 students every year across all of the departments and, and almost 20 master's degrees. So it means we get to know you, you need to get, get to know us in a relatively relaxed and informal environment. In other words, we're not too big and we're not too impersonal. And incidentally, around a third of those students, maybe 150 or so, are from overseas. And currently we're hosting students from nearly 50 different countries. Now, in terms of your degree, we want you to a certain extent to be able to follow your nose to cultivate your own interests. We want to open up these subjects and allow you to explore different aspects of the field that, that, that are important to you. Uh, now, the optionality available to you will depend on your degree, and you can learn more about that from the individual master's course convener videos, which are available on the pages here, and in the prospectus entries for each of those degrees. We're also conscious that when you leave here, you will need to have the skills to operate in a global world. Indeed, many of you are embarking on a master's precisely because it will help to further develop your career prospects. So you'll find that skills are embedded throughout uh, our curriculum, but not just the obvious ones. If, if we only do one thing here, it will be to help you learn how to deconstruct complex problems and issues and, and look really critically at the building blocks of any argument. Not only that, but, but to then have the confidence to bring your informed perspective to bear in meaningful and critical debate around these issues. And yes, we can also use our expertise to help you gain experience directly in the workplace. Many of our masters allow you to take a research placement for up to 12 weeks in the summer term. And you also have the option to use that experience to directly inform your dissertation. Many of our graduates go on to develop wide-ranging careers that can make a real difference in the world, so perhaps with the United Nations, the World Bank, various NGOs, policy institutes, uh, the private sector, government ministries, think tanks, not-for-profits, and so on. Again, you can learn more about this in detail in the videos uh, by the master's course conveners on these pages and also the, on the prospectus entries for each subject. So, what happens next? Well, firstly, check out the subject-specific online resources for each degree delivered by our conveners. Lots of detail there. Check out the prospectus entries. Lots of additional information about module choices and so on. And it's also bang up to date. And, of course, check out some of the other online resources which are here um, uh, about Sussex. Some of the accommodation, the campus. Uh, you can get some tours of campus and the, the teaching and social spaces, the accommodation. And also Brighton itself. And if you don't know, Brighton is a fantastic town to be a, to be a student. And finally, ask us questions. We're very happy to have a chat. Conveners will give their contact details at the end of their presentations. And also the gen generic uh, Global Studies email address at the end of this presentation, which comes next. So if you pop your question there, we'll make sure it gets to the right person. So thank you very much. Once again, thanks for taking the time to check out what Sussex has to offer. We appreciate that Sussex is not going to be right for everyone. But we hope that you'll find something here that you like. Uh, that will enable us to start that dialogue. And after all the craziness of the past few weeks, it would be really very nice to have the opportunity to welcome you onto our campus in person. So the very best of luck with making your decisions and with whatever comes next in your academic career, wherever you end up. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Becca and I'm a first year international development student studying in Sussex and what did I enjoy about studying it this year is that, um, well, it's, it's completely changed my view on everything. Everything I thought I would be doing when I finished with my degree has significantly changed. Sussex really like questions, makes you question a lot of things, what you've uh, 
being brought up knowing or thinking you knew and gives you like such a, a background to everything so you can see why countries are in the situations that they're in now and um, it makes you very angry and frustrated but it gives you so much uh, desire to want to do things and, and now that you have this clearer view of why things are the way they are um, or a little bit more clearer of you and uh, makes you want to learn more and also, by being in Sussex, there are lots of ways for you to vent this desire to do something and you yeah, you don't feel trapped. Um, all the lecturers, um, they're always open to discuss with you and spend time with you um, talking things out. And I would definitely recommend this course. Um, it's really changed my life and my views. And I think it probably will change yours too. Hi, my name is Clervy. I'm from France and Luxembourg and I study international development and academics at the University of Sussex um, and I'm about to go into my second year. Um, what I enjoy most about studying international development has been the people that I met through my course. I find that most ID students are really friendly and welcoming and it's really easy to strike up a conversation with them. Um, I also find that a lot of them are from different backgrounds and nationalities, which means that when we discuss the topics that we study, people have really different perspectives, so it's a lot more stimulating. Um, I also find that the teachers and the professors are really open to listening to students' ideas. Um, it's not a one-way street, uh, so it's a lot more engaging to have discussions with your teachers as well. Um, and they take it, take into account um, our opinions as well, which is really interesting and it's a lot more challenging than just listening to someone giving you their opinion. So it's, it's quite interactive, I find, as a course. Um, and then I also find that we have a lot of support available to us, uh, both from the academic and the administrative staff. If you have any questions or concerns or even just feedback or comments on the course, there will always be someone to listen to you. Um, and your concerns, so it's nice that uh, we have support available. Um, and then finally, from my experience as a first year, I find that the topics that we study are really, really interesting. Um, they really challenge your view of the world and they give you a, more, a new, more, um, more critical perception of the world around us and society as a whole. Uh, which is really interesting because you learn so much and I find that it's a course that isn't only relevant in the classroom it's really relevant to the world around us which is really and you can tell that the teachers and the professors and the tutors they're all really passionate about what they're teaching um, so it's really really interesting I find um, but yeah overall I've had overall I've had a really lovely experience uh, with my international development course so yeah thank you